Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another great episode. We are here once again at the Festival of the Arts here at Epcot in Walt Disney World, Florida, Orlando here. And we are going to be going around the circuit and trying out a few more of the great foods that we've got our eye on. We are going to try, I think we're interested in trying some of the foods that we wouldn't normally eat uh, and see if it's going to be good or bad. You know, I think you, when you come to the Festival of the Arts, sometimes you just kind of stick to the foods that you're comfortable with or the foods that you know and yeah. maybe you don't give it a give some of the other weird things a try and I um, so today we're gonna try some of the things that are a little odd the things that we've kind of been <laughs> skipping over and see if they're any good we might find some surprises in there yeah. so stay tuned Take a look at this little uh, cute art display here. It's basically just um, the wall that's sort of blocking off the new Moana area that they're building. And they've got these cool little sort of murals and things painted on here. But look at this one, this is really cute. It says Mike Quinn, Walt Disney Imagineering Concept Design. Ah, it's really cool, it's like sparkly. Very rainbow, looks really neat. And then this one's, this one's pretty interesting too. Sort of haunted mansion display. 50th anniversary. Will Martinez. Honestly, all these are pretty cool. 50th anniversary castle. You've got all the different parks here. Rock and roller coaster up there. I've got everything. A bunch of different characters from different movies in here. And then sort of like a little comic book. It all started with a mouse. They have a brand new art here. Check it out. It looks three dimensional. I'm gonna check out Deco Delights here. Uh, this is where you actually redeem the wonderful, colorful cuisine walk uh, redemption location. But they've got a bunch of other things that we haven't actually tried here. And I really kind of been wanting to try this orange mousse here for four dollars and fifty cents. All right, so we stopped at Deco Delights. We ended up getting that orange mousse that I was looking at. So I'm gonna give it a try. I've been kind of wanting to try this for a while. I've seen it, and it looks really colorful. So I wanted to give it a go. At first, when I thought I saw it, I thought it kind of looked like um, I don't know, like a little Swiss roll or something. Uh, but it en it, it ended up just being like a mousse yeah, and with a little bit yeah, of cake. Yeah. So check this thing out. And this was four dollars and fifty cents. Uh. Let's try this. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so it's a little, okay, it's a little bit soft. Kind of like a hard, crusty outside. Mmm. What's this? Is this hard? Yeah, these are hard. I don't know. It looks pretty good, though. I think I got a little bit of everything. I got a little bit of the blue mousse. Um, I got a little bit of the cake, a little bit of the lemon stuff. I don't know. Cheers. Let's do it. Let's give it a rip. Good. It's only four fifty. This is a good dessert. It's really good. Yeah. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the deconstructed key lime pie. Yeah. It tastes a little bit like the key, like the deconstructed key lime pie. I'm just gonna pick and this. And once again, the, the meringue. The meringue. Yeah. Is I'm like just gonna. Rock. I'm gonna pick it up because I love these little meringue. Yeah. That is kind of I'm gonna try this orange mm. cake. Mm. That this meringue is a little chewy on the inside. Yum. Yeah. It's, it's in that, it's in that so I love. I love yeah, meringue. He does. I don't. Really I'm not even a hit. I'm not even a big fan of raspberry, but this is a good meringue. I like it a lot. What was this little jelly thing? It looks like a, maybe an orange, orange rind, like a candied orange rind. I love the little orange. Mm. I think it's a candied orange rind. Yum. It's really good. Okay. Yeah, it kind of tastes like a gummy kind of. And this, uh, this like, this is like a lemon cake here. The lemon cake is good. It's orange color, but it's lemon. It says lemon yeah. cake, and it's an orange mousse. But honestly, I feel like, huh, I feel like the mousse tastes lemon, and the cake tastes yeah, a little orange. Really I feel does. like it's like the reverse oh, of what yeah, it actually it's says it is. Because like. uh, the mousse tastes more lemonade to me. 
I don't know what it is, but it's all good. It really is good. I'm going to eat this whole thing. I was like, oh, I'm not really going to like this, but it's good. I mean, the whole thing. I wasn't even in the mood for a dessert either because we I just wasn't got either. here. I even said, I was like, I don't really want to eat a dessert right now, but this is good. This is a winner. Yep. That's a straight winner. This is good. This is good. It's worth the money. This Four fifty. Is, yeah. Definitely get this. Good. For your dessert. And it's a little travel size here I'm going to take with me. This is really good. Yep. Actually, and the key lime, deconstructed key lime yeah. thing was really good too, but apparently we like lemony, soury yeah. things, although the strawberry thing wasn't sour. Anyway, yeah. 450. I highly recommend Deco Delights, I think. The Definitely. orange mousse, it's called an orange mousse, but it's orange mousse with lemon cake and raspberry meringues and stuff. Yeah. Boss in. It really is. <laughs> Boss in. It's one of the best desserts that we've had, yeah. period. It, it it's, really is. It's we ate it all. Awesome. Look. We did. We ate it all. I'm going to take this with me. A little travel size bundle of joy here. Let's keep on. Let's keep moving. Take a look at this really neat Tinkerbell art. That is really cute. It's $3,500. It's pretty big, though. I mean, it's pretty large. It's as big as, like, this tent. How cute this is. This would match our bedroom. Like, I would love if this was bigger. This is sixty dollars just for this. Oh, that's cute. Normally, the sixty for the print. Size, yeah, yeah wow. like that's a lot for the print. Yeah, but it's really cute. We are at the Flavors of Medina in Morocco. I always say we're in Medina, but he's like, yeah. no, we're in Morocco. <laughs> but I always call it that. Um, we got the carrots three ways. Yeah, and carrots I love ways. carrots, raw, cooked. So yeah, we'll Same. see how this is. I love carrots. Yeah. Uh, Four dollars and twenty-five cents is this dish. Yeah, it's cheap. Yeah. It's very pretty. The girl that was making it, uh, putting it together, took her time. Like, she made sure everything was in the right uh, place. So that is why the lines, not today, but that is why the lines are longer, longer. at the Festival of the Arts. because they're, you know, meticulously yeah. putting the dishes together, like, in an artful way. I'm going to try this. I don't first. know what this... Uh, I'm trying this first. It is really colorful, though. I mean, I like the, the oranges and the green. I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna try the puree first. Are you gonna try it? I'll try it. Um, so apparently, one of the one of the three ways of the carrots is baby yeah. food. Huh? Puree. <laughs> baby food. It looks like the carrot baby food. Hold on. It looks like the carrot baby food that we gave our kids. So yeah. Do we really need to cheers the, cheers this? And it kind of tastes like baby food. Yeah. It tastes weird. It's not sweet. It's more like, I don't know, like a little bit salty almost. Yeah. But like carrot with a little bit of salt. So I don't like the texture though, honestly. You try those. I don't really, I mean, and then I guess another way that the carrot is is just like a shaved piece of carrot. It's pickled. Oh, okay. So it's pickled. It's good. Yeah. I like the pickled carrot. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to do the fork. Just forget it. And then whatever this is. I like that a lot. Cooked carrot. This one's sweet and spicy. I like I like the cooked carrot a lot. Sweet and spicy. I like it. I kind of like it too, actually. I like the pickled carrot. I like the cooked carrot. I guess they're all cooked, but whatever. Yeah. I don't know what the green things are for, just decoration. I think so. What are they? It just tastes like I eat grass. The puree is just... Puree. It's not bad. It just doesn't... You know. Pickled carrots are really good. And the cooked carrots are really good. Cooked I carrots are really carrots. good. Um, the baby food, I'm a... Yeah, I'm a pass on. It's not, I mean, it's not bad. It's just I don't really, I don't like the texture. I don't want to eat baby food. I'm definitely going to eat all the, and they gave you more of the, like, actual cooked bees. I'm calling them cooked carrots, but they gave you more of these than they did anything else, and I'm definitely going to eat whatever he does eat. And I like them a lot. But I love roasted vegetables and cooked vegetables. I love them, so. I like it all. 
other than the baby food. Like if I if I could tell them like skip the baby food, yeah. give me more of the pickled carrots or the cooked carrots. This four four twenty five, I think it's a good deal. I love the texture and the way that's cooked. I do too. I mean, I can't. The, the carrots are good. I mean, it's it's a really good. Yeah. I think it, I feel like to me it's like a side dish. I would yeah, like this uh -huh. side dish with like some sort of meat or something, some mm -hmm. sort of some other more substantial. Yeah, for sure. But um, I do think this is like a vegan or vegetarian dish or whatnot, so that's also good. And I, I think it's good. I like it a lot. And I, it's only four twenty-five. The spice is starting to creep up on me yeah. now with the carrot. I really like. It's I, starting to really, and it's not. It's not too spicy for me. It's like starting to really like. I like that kind of. Um, so overall, solid. I think at four twenty-five. It's, it's it's good. Yeah, it is. Good. Not bad to say. Other than the baby food, <laughs> which isn't bad. It's just not for me. <laughs> So I got the um, Sangria Hard Cider at Flavors of Medina in Morocco. Um, they have the berry one there also. I feel like I definitely like the berry one better, but I do like this, but the berry one is definitely more my speed. Are they both Sangria? Yeah. No. Or one no. was a hard cider? No, they're both hard cider. This is Sangria Oh, hard I don't know cider, what the difference. And the other one is a berry flavored hard oh, I have cider. no clue. Okay. So, yeah. So, oh, huh. that's interesting. Yeah. What does it taste like though? Sangria? I don't know what sangria tastes like really. Yeah, it kind of tastes like a wine, a more wine flavored hard cider. Which sangria? And I it was nine dollars, right? With fruit in it. Yeah. Nine dollars for the twelve yeah. ounce version. Yeah. They do have a five or six ounce version too. Yeah. So, okay, that's good to know. Right here in the American Theater, where normally uh, the candlelight processional and different shows are at, they they do this animation academy. Uh, little show here where there's actually like a artist, imagineer, whoever actually showing you how to draw. Right now he's drawing Minnie Mouse with a little princess cap on. And you can see all the people in the audience actually have um, paper and pen uh, and, and uh, pencils and they're drawing along with him. And they're, and they're going to actually be able to see like, uh, see like how well they did. He's going to have them hold it up and show him how did you do. So it's kind of cool. So if you're interested in kind of like doing like a little lesson almost with a animator or an animation academy person, you should definitely check this out. All right, we are trying our last dish that we wanted to try at the Germany Pavilion, uh, which is called Pastoral Palette, and it's the wild boar cassoulet. Um, it sounds interesting, so listen to what this thing has in it. It has a duck confit, a ham hock, and a wild boar sausage. I don't know. It sounds interesting. It sounds kind of weird to me, but it actually kind of looks good. So. She, she was like, I'm not trying that when she heard it. But yeah. um, then she saw it. She's like, yeah. maybe. And this was $9. All right, take a look. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what this green stuff is on the outside here. I don't know. what. I don't really know. what. I mean, I read all the ingredients, but we'll see. I don't know. All right, so let's dig into this. I mean, it looks interesting. It looks kind of good. I, I, like I didn't like, even want to try it, but... Some sort of like breadcrumbs or something on there. Yeah. I don't know. What is this in here? What is this? What is that? Ham. That was ham in May it. Oh, maybe that's the ham, ham hock. hock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. That's the big ham hock yeah. in there. So this must be the duck confit. I'm just going to try the duck confit. Are you? Give it a rip. Is that this stuff? I'm kind of scared. Of, this is the part I was scared of. So those are beans. This is basically like Pretty a... Good. Basically these are just beans in like a sauce. I don't know what else is in Like a little tomato or carrot or something. I don't know. I'm going to try the sausage. The wild boar sausage. I don't think I've ever had boar. Mmm. It's good. <laughs> it's like salty. It tastes gamey. But not as gamey as deer. Because I grew up on deer. You know, I, I was saying that like as a joke because I thought that was like what you're supposed to say when you eat like weird animals. It, it's gamey. not really. Uh, deer, this is I've had deer. way less deer gamey jerky. than deer. Deer jerky, yeah. I've had all kind of deer meat. Yeah, yeah. this is very good actually. What's this? I don't know, I'm not trying that. What is that? It's like fat. I'm not eating that. We're not, we're, you're not going to get to find out what that is, folks. <laughs> I'll no, try the I don't ham. know what that is. It looks busted. Oh, the ham duck. Look at that. 
Reminds me of ham that's cooked in like soup beans. Look how that, see that ham? It's kind of like how it like pulls that. apart there. It's got like that, it almost looks like the deep, like the um, fried turkey legs, like that, mm -hmm. that, that inside like shredded kind of texture, but it's ham. A lot of people eat, sometimes eat the turkey legs and think that it's ham. Don't get it all in your teeth like I just did. It's all in my teeth. All right, we ended up moving locations yeah, because it's very windy. for whatever reason, <laughs> That particular area right there is so windy, and it's always, it does not matter even if there's no wind for the day, it's windy over there, and I never know why. And then we always continue to stand And we stand there. always, can, because it's like kind of a cool backdrop with like the water behind us and stuff, but like, there. don't stand there. I, I have a windscreen on the mic and everything, and I just, I know, because I've <laughs> edited these videos so many times, that I'm like, I feel like it's not going to, it doesn't block it out all the way, mm -hmm. so I don't know how much of that first part we just did, you could even hear with all the wind probably that got picked up, even with the wind sham there but let's just keep rolling there's not much left to say about this but overall i think it's a good dish um i like the it really is. whatever this bean stuff i don't know if that's the duck like there's duck in that and that's the duck confit or if, if the duck confit is this blob here whatever that i am blob not going to taste it Everything looks, else looks good. busted yeah um the ham was solid the wild boar was good it was actually really good i, I was I'm, I'm surprised she was like i'm not I was like, Not having it. I don't think I'm gonna even try I it. Really like it. I'm gonna she eat likes it. it. She likes it more than I do, even. <laughs> Sweet light we got here, but we um, we decided to come in and see reflections of China because it started raining. We ran for the hills. Why not be entertained while we're in here? So what did you think of the Reflections of China video that we just watched? They need to update that. It needs to be updated. I felt updated. like that was from like 1920. It literally <laughs> felt like the oldest video I'd yeah, ever seen in my life. it was life. not good. It was not good. Yeah, they definitely need to update it. Some of the landscapes that they showed in of China yeah. were really like beautiful and amazing, yeah. but like I would have liked to have seen them yeah. in like 1955, <laughs> um, you know, color. Like, I'm surprised that video yeah. was even in color. It was probably like one of the first color movies ever made. Yeah. It was bad. It, was, it, it needed to be updated bad. Like, it, it, to me, it just wasn't Disney quality no. at all. I think the story that they were telling was pretty decent. Yeah. Like, they were trying to, like, walk yeah. you through the face, you know, the reflections and faces of China and but stuff, was which was so cool. It was just so old school. It needs an update. So, yep. we probably won't be catching the reflections of China again for a long time. Probably the next time we forget about how bad, how bad it was. And then we go in there again, and we're like, oh yeah, training. we forgot. They're coming up right here on the Craftsman Courtyard. And this is right near the entrance um, to your left after you walk into the World Showcase. Craftsman Courtyard. I think we're going to try the pate. Which sounds weird, but I think we're going to give it a go. Six seventy-five. Um, I don't really eat pate, I'll be honest. I've never had pate. Mm. I don't even, I think, is like liver or something the normal? Yeah. Like, is that like the, the is liver like what normally, like a pate, like the, the I don't know what the word, normal, like the, the popular pate? <laughs> is that made out of liver usually? I don't know. This is called a pork pate. So I don't know if it's made out of pork? Pork liver? Or pork liver? I don't know. My mom and my sister, Tara, love oh. liver, liver and onions. So I, it yeah. has never been my thing, though. So let's take a look at it. So it's six dollars and seventy-five cents. Yeah. It it looks it looks pretty. Like it's cool. Like it's got yeah, like it a does. Sme sme smear smear smear. Although when you look at this side, it doesn't look the that looks a little. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I don't know. All right. So there's a lot of stuff happening in this dish. It's got the country pork pate. Yeah. You love country ham, maybe. Uh, it's got with pistachios and truffles, a toasted ciabatta, which is that part looks good. the thing the on the bottom, the bread. <laughs> which looks interesting. Uh, red onion marmalade, pickled mustard seeds, and caper berries. Yeah. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff happening in there. All right. I don't know how to dig into this thing, really. I'm just going to kind of like disassemble it a little bit. So I don't know. There's the, I guess that, you know, this is the pate here. I don't know what this was on the outside. I hope that's not like fat. I don't know. Uh, there's some flower. Like, I'm gonna move the flowers away here. Get those out of the way. Okay. There's the pickled mustard seed. The caper. Is this the? Oh, it's like a radish. The red thing. 
I don't know. Is this the caper berries? I don't know. There's a lot of strange things. So, and this bread is really hard. Like, I don't think you're gonna have to cut it. It's definitely oh, a did. toasted ch ciabatta or sh ciabatta. All right, let's see. What we let's see. What we got here. Try to cut a little bit of it here. I'm just gonna have to use my hand a little bit. Uh, all right, I tried to make a little little sandwich kind of thing. Try to get all the little components. Let's try it. All I taste is the French onion. Yeah, the little like caramelized onion or whatever. It does remind me of, like a French onion soup, like yeah. an onion inside, so that it's cold. The whole thing's cold. I guess I'll taste this by itself. Overall, honestly, everything together that I just tried wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't. It wasn't bad. Let me see what the pate like it. tastes like by itself. Surprisingly. I like the flavor. That tastes pretty good. It really does. I'm going to try this. I did try it. That just tastes this? like a little bit of salty meat, you know, like the pate. I don't know. I ate one. Try it. I don't know what it is. It's sour. Is that the caper berry? Oh maybe? gosh. Super salty and sour. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Ooh, really good. Surprisingly. It really is. It's not bad. Um, I thought I was, I was like, I'm not even going to try that. I thought it was going to be busted. <laughs> I really did think it was going to be busted. Yeah. It's not. I don't really eat pate. Um, I've never had pate I don't get the draw today. with pate. Um, I don't know if we were actually just eating pork liver just now or if it was just like yeah, mashed up pork meat or something in like a patty. Yeah. I have no idea, but it was actually really good. Yeah. I feel like it was the liver, like pork liver, but I don't know. Um. Wow, we're really not refined, so no, the, pa not. the pate, I got nothing, I got nothing. There's a lot of weird things happening. The the, the French onion, like, I'm calling them French onion because I don't know what else it's, it's just like a That's caramelized onion. Like. But it has a little bit of sweet to it, did you notice? Like, it's a little yeah. bit of vinegary sweetness to the onion. I like it, though. The the the, 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 um, the green sauce is kind of almost like a hollandaise sauce, kind of. Like, it, I don't know how to explain yeah. it. And the little mustard seed, so it was like a little bit of, like, sweetness. A little bit of sourness, a little bit of like the crunchy saltiness. Yeah. All together in one bite, it was actually pretty solid. Surprisingly, I'm. I'm so not gonna surprised. lie. It's it's. Yeah. I think it's a sleeper hit. We did not think we were gonna like this dish. We're like, oh, we're just gonna order it and see what happens. We'll give it a go. You know, we'll Amen. give it a go for the fans. Hi, yeah. all three of you. Um, <laughs> but no, literally, like um, it's not bad. I feel like it's the it's sleeper. Not bad. It's the sleeper hit of the of the yeah. festival for me, because. I had such low expectations and it ended up being pretty solid. We're like, this is not going to be good. I'm not going to lie. We're it's pretty solid. It's not good. I mean, I'm not saying it's the best thing we've had here no, at the festival, but it's the it's sleeper. Definitely not the I feel worst. like it's the biggest sleeper so far. Yeah. Because I thought it was going to be busted. Yeah. And it ended up being pretty good. Yeah. So there you have it. Not too bad. Uh, 675 right here at the Craftsman Courtyard. Yeah. Give it a try. Even if you're like, hey, I don't know about that. Give it a rip. <laughs> Some pretty good art in here. It's got an Oswald. Oh, and this is painted on kind of like a wooden wooden board. So that's cute. Hey, look, there's Gonzo. I don't see Gonzo very often. Ooh, Donald Duck looks mad. He looks like he is fit to be tied. Hey, 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 check us out. We're fancy. <laughs> we're fancy people. We were eating pate. Yeah, we just had some pate here for lunch. It was, what did you eat for lunch? I had a little bit of pate. You know, it was a pork pate. It wasn't quite as... You know, what did you think, Bitsy? Um, I like the mustard seeds. Mmm, mustard seeds were also good. I like the caramelized onions. Yes, Lobby. Middle of the day here, Spaceship Earth. Nobody in line. I mean, there's a couple people in line, but it's not really a line, so... Usually it's pretty crowded about this time of day. So once again, it's just not very crowded here. I haven't played this racing game, this little driving car game in a long time. Let's check it out. What better place to close out the Festival of the Arts for the day, except other than right in front of Goofy and Pluto right behind us. So I had a lot of fun today. Um, what'd you think? What'd you think Excellent. of the food? Uh, I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to like it. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, like I said, we were, we were going to try some, we were going to do some stuff was, that we normally yeah, wouldn't I was try. Scared, but it was good. 
surprised at how decent the food was, yeah. honestly. Like I, I thought, I thought for sure this was gonna be a busted day, but it ended up being pretty good. So I think the plan of like, hey, try try a few things that you wouldn't normally get, yeah. ended up actually working out. It ended good. up working out. We 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 have found a few things that were pretty good. I mean, I don't know that I like loved any of the no, stuff, but no. it was like, oh, that wasn't bad. I would yeah. try try that again. And then maybe we just need to find like the right version of that um, that was pretty good. So. Overall, had a fun day. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, we'll probably do one more Festival of the Arts, maybe, before it goes away. Um, we'll see. But um, until tomorrow, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll have another awesome episode again. Until then, the noble way. It's easy way. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>